Hi, in this video I'll be painting with some American Journey watercolors. This is Cheap Joe's store brand, which is made for them in the USA by Da Vinci Paint Company. Many colors are available in both catalogs, but what really sets American Journey apart is the special convenience mixtures they've had Da Vinci mix just for them. The roughly 15 to 20 custom colors that are exclusively made for Cheap Joe's seem to have been created based on artist feedback, as many of them are quite useful mixtures that fill in the gaps between single pigment options. I did not buy them all, but there are many options that seem really good for landscapes, seascapes, and florals. All of them use the same high quality production methods and base packaging as Da Vinci's own paints. These are lovely pro-grade watercolors with a traditional gum arabic formula. American Journey is only sold by Cheap Joe's. If you already own the single pigment colors from Da Vinci, you can mix exact replicas for all but a few American Journey colors. Da Vinci can be purchased directly through their own website or through Blick Art Materials. I like shopping at Blick because they carry so many other things too, but they are missing a few of Da Vinci's new release colors, the only stock tubes, and none of the dry pans. The prices are pretty reasonable from any of these stores for those living within the USA, but the shipping costs can be too high to justify importing them to other countries. For those that have an easier or more affordable access to brands like White Knights, Schmincke, or Roman Schmall, stick around because some of these colors are great DIY mixture ideas that could be mimicked using other brands. I accidentally bought one of the overlapping duplicates I already owned from Da Vinci. Confusingly, Da Vinci's Quinn Gold is the same as American Journey's Quinn Gold Deep but American Journey also offers a different Quinn Gold without the word deep at the end, made with PY42 instead of PY150. Be aware that there are many more colors that match, but have different names between the brands, such as Getz Gray being another name for Davies Gray, and colors that had Da Vinci's name, like Da Vinci's Red, are changed to Joe's Red. Same thing for several of the iridescent colors. It's a good idea to pay attention to pigment codes to avoid collecting duplicates, but that's something to keep in mind when collecting paints in general. American Journey has offered a Moon Glow replica for several years before Da Vinci decided to go ahead and release their own called Artemis. Sadly, both use the same fugitive mixture containing PR-177 like Daniel Smith's. Other than that, both Da Vinci and American Journey carry mostly light fast colors, with the exception of some standard common offerings like Oriolan, Prussian Blue, and Opera Pink. There are a couple pigments available in American Journey that are not in Da Vinci's catalog, such as Magnetite, which looks like a smoother PPK-11 option, commonly called Mars Black or Black Iron Oxide. It's not as dramatically granulating as Daniel Smith's Lunar Black. American Journey's Gothite is a bit smooth, similar to other brands' Yellow Ochres or Sienna's, not as textural or color separating as Daniel Smith's or Roman Schmall. For the most part, every granulating paint Da Vinci or American Journey has is fairly smooth, and the reduced texture may be a good thing for painters who appreciate predictability. If you like dramatic texture or color separating effects, Daniel Smith, Roman Schmall, or Schmincke brands may be a better fit for you. I can see appreciating American Journey's mixtures for convenience. The Quinn Gold Deep is a great burnt orange fitting for landscapes or animal fur like tigers or calico cats. Blue Stone is a stunning sea green with just a touch of granulation that can be prodded to do color separation with table salt. I really wanted to try their neutral purple called Shadow, but it's been sold out every time I shopped with Cheap Joe's. Shadow is a mixture I would likely have done myself as it combines three of my favorite smooth, light, fast pigments already on my main palette, including PR209 Quin Red, PB15 Thalo Blue, P048 Quin Burnt Orange. I'm just going to use these pigments to do a little mixing here to show what this combination can achieve. I also like to make similar mixtures with PB29 Ultramarine Blue instead of the PB15 Thalo when I'm looking for granulation texture. 
This combination achieves some of my favorite neutral grays to purples to berry wine colors that are not prone to fading. There are a few minor downsides to these paints. I was a little surprised that despite offering over 100 colors, there's no single pigment magenta PR122, one of my favorite cool reds. The iridescent collection simply mixes their iridescent medium, a pearl white mica, into normal colors, which results in the same white shimmer for all of them. None of them are colorful on dark surfaces, like the mica colors from Paul Rubens, Calero, or Fine Tech. American Journey and Da Vinci tubes work well when poured into empty pans to use from dry later. They stay in place and don't crack, but I did notice they dry a little hard. If you live in a particularly dry climate, these may benefit from a drop of water a minute ahead of time to avoid having to scrub at them with your brush. Because of what seems like maybe a touch more gum arabic than some brands, these paints can dry shiny if you use them with very little water or go directly from pan to paper with your brush. Once mixed with water on my palette, I stopped noticing the glossy appearance. Otherwise, these colors are beautiful, easy to control in wet washes, and disperse predictably, giving these paints an overall average handling feel. Is a paint that artists can appreciate as a reliable staple. No unusual quirkiness, just dependable, highly pigmented colors that do what you need them to do. These will definitely help, not hinder, the creation of beautiful artwork without major quirks or surprises. While I was shopping at Cheap Joe's, I also decided to try a sampler of their 100% cotton watercolor paper made with plant-based vegan sizing. I prefer the 140 pound version better than the 300 pound option, which did not do well with lifting. It had some loose internal fibers that showed hair-like textures and flat washes, as well as caused minor ink bleeding with my fine liner pens. The 140 pound did much better for line and wash, but it does warp with very wet washes. Like most papers, that can be helped by taping or binder clipping the edges when working small or pre-wetting the front and back of large pieces. Glazing or layering over previously dried washes works well on this absorbent paper. It does not promote overly easy lifting. You won't be able to cleanly erase colors with a damp brush like you could on hard sized papers with more slick surface coatings. The surface is durable enough that it could handle extra scrubbing though, and granulating colors can still lift well, reminding me of Windsor & Newton or Arches papers. Overall, I had a positive experience with these products, and I like that Cheap Joe's offers high quality store brand paints and papers that do not steer their customers wrong. Instead of trying to make the cheapest option for their store brand, they chose to make unique mixtures with input from their customers and stuck with high quality production instead of finding the least expensive option something that breaks the stereotypes of most store brands in general. I'd love to hear if you've tried American Journey or Da Vinci, and if it's not easy to get these in your country, if you could see yourself mixing any of the colors I used in this video, let me know in the comments.
If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.